And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics. And I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey, everyone, and welcome. In this video, we're going to be having a look at them. Well, we're going to be having a look at the aftermath <laughs> of the Meghan, Oprah and Ginger Minch interview last night. Don't worry, I'm not going to put you through the interview. I wouldn't do that to you. I'm not that nasty. <laughs> but what I am going to do is show you the shite show that came after. Now, this is on Piers Morgan's show as well. <laughs> now, you all know I don't like Piers Morgan. Morgan is uh, an anger merchant, so I don't watch his stuff, but every now and again, something happens on his crap show that I have to bring to you. Now, this is an absolute train wreck, but he does actually say a couple of things that I 100% agree with. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I nearly fell over myself. But this is with Piers Morgan, obviously, Susanna on his left, and Dr. Shola. Dr. Shola Moss Shogmar Shog... <laughs> Dr. Shola. We'll leave it at that. Now, as you all know, we all know what she is. She's a grifter. She makes a lot of money out of being absolutely nasty towards you-know-who and claiming it's anti-racism. Well, this is absolutely glorious. I couldn't stop laughing all the way through this. I've watched it three times already. Well, have a look. Check this out, everyone. You'll love it. You say you're talking about... You talk that. about no, how to... Please let me let me speak, Chola. Everybody, come on, let's Please just let stay me speak. calm. Typical media refest, this isn't it? Re <laughs> okay, whenever you're finished, whenever you're finished. But the reality is, you cannot Chola, I'd like to finish my sentence, please. Any omissions or conduct? I would like to finish my sentence. Not listening. Piers, she's still not listening. <laughs> when she's done something okay. wrong. I'm going to finish my sentence now if you stop shouting at me. Here's the finish of my sentence. You, you, too. Guys. you talk about the behaviour of a 94-year-old monarch and you say that she should have done more. What about the behaviour of Harry and Meghan? who are spray gunning his family on global television as Philip lies in hospital. You might laugh. He's got a point, Anna. I don't think it's no. funny. I think it's piling no, hurt, it's hurt on the Queen, Morgan. who is already what suffering greatly from her husband's so illness. I wish you respond to that. What I don't think is funny, I'll tell you what I don't think is funny, is the fact that you are such a disappointment. I'm sure he wakes up every morning, Dr. Shola, thinking, oh, I must impress Dr. Shola today. Disappointment. Like he gives a toss, you're disappointed in him. <laughs> That's arrogant and half, isn't it? I wish to God one day you would even surprise me. You constantly, you constantly use your platform as a wealthy, white, privileged man. And here we go. The same old story with Dr. Shola. You don't agree with me, so therefore it must be because of your race and your age and your position of power. Absolute trash. With power influence, oh, what a load of nonsense, honestly. The biggest what a load of race-baiting race nonsense. Yep, you heard that right. Piers actually called her out for what she is. I know, shocking, isn't it? <laughs> We have done That's more. We have done so more on racial wrong. issues on Philip this show than any other so show on television. You, you're talking, Chola, you, you can keep shouting. That the royal family has any racist undertone or actions. At this point, I'd like to jump in, Dr. Shola. Can you prove any of these accusations that you're throwing? Because you can't, can you? You've got one person's word against numerous. So shut up with your, as Piers says, race baiting. Against the first biracial, but simply because you're in love with the queen? No, because we believe in proof and facts, love. That that's what it is. No, you I, think, I think what you're doing now... You can love okay. the queen, but you should be able to call out actions done by the royal family when they've got it wrong. Yeah, That's I'm not going to let you trash the Queen. Sorry. Well said, Bears. <laughs> Bears, I called him Bears. Proddy and Slip, that must have been. That's because I need a beer every time I watch this prat. <laughs> Boris, get the pubs open. We're desperate. The things I do for you, eh? <laughs> but anyway, we all agree. Just not going to let you do it. I'm not going to let you do it. But you've had your say. Let's bring in Johnson for Harry now. Glorious, wasn't it? I actually agreed with him a couple of times in that. And she, she is a race baiter, in my opinion. And she's a grifter. Look at the books behind her. I mean, that's just proof, isn't it? Here's my book. Buy it. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
but it was glorious. I mean, it does seem to be that even Piers Morgan's had enough of this woman's race baiting because that's exactly what she does. That's exactly what her entire career is based around. We've seen her numerous times, haven't we? Well, it seems she might not be coming back on GMB anytime soon. <laughs> that's one voice silenced. Next. But what say you, everyone? I'd like to know your opinion on this one. Did you watch it more than once? Are you going to watch it more than once? <laughs> Piers Karen Morgan against <laughs> Doctor Everything's Because of Race Shola. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I hope she is back on and they do this more and more just for the sheer salt mining that can come from it. That would be brilliant. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on all my alt media platforms. We don't know how long YouTube are going. I would prefer it if you could get onto Odyssey. It is my favourite one. I do like that platform. I think it's going to be a competitor to see YouTube very soon. So it might be worth everybody jumping on it. Stay sane. I'll see you on the next one.